Welcome everyone and today we'll be doing a quick review on the new basses from Clifton Guitars, specifically the Music Man inspired bass. Stick around. Christmas is around the corner and a lot of you young bass players, starting bass players, returning bass players are looking for a budget-friendly bass and I'm here to do an unbiased and honest review about the Clifton Music Man inspired bass. So guys, before I begin with the review, I'm just gonna say that I am not affiliated with Clifton Guitars and I'm just doing this review to serve as a guide for my fellow bass players on their next bass purchase. So let's get into it. Well guys, just to give you an idea, I have fixed and set up a couple of Music Man Stingray basses here at the shop just like this. You might have seen my video with this bass uh, covering um, Wake Up by Rage Against the Machine. So let's see if the Clifton shall be able to give us uh, a taste of you know uh, having that Music Man vibe within their basses. So stick around on this video. Well, in the spirit of fairness and my rule of thumb on every bass, I did a setup on this uh, Music Man inspired Clifton bass. I did strong them with, I hope the camera can see that, with the Adario strings. So, this is strong with uh, Nichols, the Nichols, their nickel sets, gauge 100 to 45. So I'll do another biased review on what needs to be done and the pros and cons of this bass and how to further maximize your Clifton. So this bass has a Polonia body just like their P-Bass model. Uh, all maple neck, right? So yeah, bolt on, standard open gear tuners. Um, I do appreciate uh, that Clifton did put the trust rod adjuster wheel just like with the original Stingray um, Music Man ins uh, inspired uh, Stingray type pickups, standard uh, bridge, and active electronics. We'll talk about more of this later This on this side, right? So after doing the setup, no noticeable buzz so far, but uh, you know very well that I'm not a fan of uh, putting shims on bases, but on, on this base, I'll make an exception. Uh, to raise the end of the fingerboard a little bit because you know uh, the neck pocket's a little bit deep so to get the proper angle to raise also the end of the fingerboard you might need to put a very thin shim underneath all right so let's talk about the electronic section of this space right uh, I find it unique or weird because it's not uh, a standard type so the controls are bass treble blend master volume you don't put the master volume as the last part it should be the first okay now bass is in the right uh, control configuration so configuration now is 
master volume blend treble and bass so the blend pot is the second up after I did the after final shape and I did the rearrangement the blend pot controls the north and south poles of your pickups when it's in the middle both coils are functioning if you put it forward front side or north pole if you do the reverse south pole of the pickups in the middle both coils are functioning all right guys so i'll remind you to disconnect also your jack after every use to avoid battery drain that's another important factor which i look into when i purchase a new base is neck dive does it have a neck dive Right. Balance as well. Kudos to the So guys, I will be playing a couple of sound clips for you so that you can hear uh, how the music band inspired Clifton bass sounds like under the mix. This will be recorded straight to my MacBook Pro. No gadgets, no effects from the bass to the focus right solo, then straight to my Mac to Logic Pro, no plugins, no compressor or anything, just the raw sound of the bass, alright? So let's get into it.
guys, I have presented the pros and cons of the Music Man inspired Clifton bass. I'm just here to present the expectation versus the reality, which is not a bad thing, guys. Um, you'd be the judge if it fits your tonal preference, uh, if it fits your band, if it's uh, good for your playing style. Uh, regarding some of the points that I have uh, raised, like the the noise on the pit, on the pickups whenever you switch from north or south pole, um, there is a solution to that. You may contact me or Final Shape, and we'll help you maximize your Clifton bass. Uh, I would highly recommend this to the beginner bass player uh, and to every bass player that wants to have that music man vibe without you know, hurting your wallet uh, especially uh, it's the season to be frugal and uh, be wise with our spending uh, you can contact me or final ship if you want to further maximize your Clifton basis just like what I did Ta -da! <laughs> All right, so this bass will be demoed on my succeeding videos very soon. Uh, I'd like to thank everyone uh, for supporting my channels, uh, Single Pod Luthier Services. You can follow me uh, on Facebook, Single Pod Luthier Services, Instagram, Aids of Bass. That's one word. And uh, YouTube would be Adrian Nunez. I'm indeed grateful, guys. Uh, and again, happy base shopping. Please be safe, stay indoors, and don't forget to sanitize. Bye for now. You keep on running away.